I'm not doing anything. Look at my hands. So you know, and you look at my miles per hour, you know at five miles per hour, your bike is not gonna fall off. There you go. What up YouTube? Welcome to the Keep Living channel. I am the KR Rider. So today we're gonna get you guys uh part three. This is actually gonna get you guys started on learning how to ride your motorcycle. We went through the first part, which basically was about learning the controls. You know, the second part was about knowing what your dashboard looks like, knowing what those controls do and how to actually read the dashboard when you're riding. So now this time, we're actually gonna start getting you guys actually um, moving your bike. But we're gonna do small steps at a time. So we want you to get really, really comfortable. All right, so let's mount the bike correctly. You always wanna mount the bike from the uh, kickstand side. Anybody tells you from the other, other side, don't listen to them, all right? Kickstand side, can you do it from the other side? Yeah, sure, why not? It'll be a little bit more difficult, but kickstand side, all right, we're gonna get on our bike. As we throw our leg over, grab the front brake, hold that front brake in. So just in case, like we said, if the bike is in neutral, we're gonna hold that front brake in and keep the bike steady until we get ourselves uh, positioned. Okay, next thing we want to do is uh, we want to want to turn our bike on, all right? Kickstand up, hold to the bar, turn our bike on. We can see that our bike, our bike is in neutral now. Okay, now we're getting back to uh, the friction zone of our, of our clutch and getting, getting the bike moving. All right, so let's start the bike. I'm going to hold the clutch in. It's good, okay? Clutch is in, kickstand is up, left foot. We're gonna shift down for first gear. Boom. You saw it change from neutral to down in first gear. So now we're gonna play with the friction zone with our hand, our left hand over here, okay? Watch my hand as I slowly, 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 slowly. If you can see it, let's see if you can see it. Slowly releasing you see the bike start to, you know, want to move. I'm gonna pull it in, I'm gonna back up. Let's look at our hand again. You see my hand, see my hand is all the way down here. That's not where the friction zone is at. I just have it all the way in. I'm gonna release it. I'm releasing it slowly, 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 slowly. As I start to release, the bike starts to move, as you can see, okay? Look at my hand, and if you can see that whole gap, I'm going to slide my hand down. You see that whole gap? See how much there's no gap right there? We're going to go as we start to release. I'm still not moving. 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 You hear the RPMs kick up. The bike is starting to move now. So that's why I know where my friction zone is at. And that's why I know to either get the bike moving um, or take power from the rear wheel, that's where my fingers need, need to be. So you need to know where that's at um, on your particular bike. And you can get it adjusted accordingly to your comfort. Um, it's always suggested that your clutch should be at least midway or a little bit further out before it actually starts to engage. Okay? So you just do that for a little while, you know? Do that for a little while. It's kind of like a semi-duck walk. Releasing the clutch, releasing the clutch, releasing the clutch. And the RPMs are not going nowhere. The reason why the RPMs are not going nowhere is because I'm not engaging the throttle. Leave your hand off the throttle. Don't touch the throttle. Okay? I'm releasing it slowly. I'm pulling it back in. I'm releasing it. Like it's moving slow. See how that quickly it stops? That's all it takes. When you hear that motor, you're going to hear the motor. See it right there? Now it stops. I'm gonna hear the motor, now it stops. Hear the motor when I release. Pick it up, bike is moving. Stopping, and I pull it back in, okay? So that right there controls, like I said before, the power going to the rear wheel of the bike. So when your bike is just at this, at zero miles per hour, you can literally control your bike See the move slowly 
or, or, or stop. So that's going to help you a lot with slow speed maneuvering, um, especially in, um, in, in traffic, okay? So now we want to add a little bit of throttle. So I'm going to put the bike back in neutral Half a clip, all right? So the bike is in neutral, my hand's not doing anything. I could do whatever. Now, when I start revving the throttle, I want you to look at my RPM band right here. What is this? The tachometer. Look at the bars, watch everything. When I start revving the throttle, you hear that going up? Going up, I'm giving it power. I'm giving it power. Right? But the bike is not, the bike is not going nowhere because the bike is in neutral. When the bike is in neutral, you can only push or pull the bike, you know, with, with your body weight. Okay? Even though I'm giving it power, the bike is not going nowhere. You can do this all day. Even with the clutch closed, all right? And I want to close um, the clutch, okay? I'm going to put the bike in first gear. Closed. Okay, when I rev the throttle, the clutch is in. I can give this, I can give this bike, this bike as much power as I want. You hear that? And the bike is not going nowhere. Why? Because the clutch is in, it is not releasing that power going to the rear wheel. Make sense? The clutch is in, I can rev the throttle all day. So I'm not going to smash it to a tree. It's only when I release this clutch out of the friction zone and I give it power, that's when zoom into a fire hydrant. You don't want that. Okay? So clutch is in when you're in gear all the time. Rev the throttle, the bike is not going to go anywhere. Okay? Now we want to start giving the bike just a little bit of a go. Okay? Let's start getting you going right now. Okay, we duck walk the bike. I showed you how to use the clutch. A little bit of friction zone, how it goes back and forward. You can control the bike on and off. I showed you the throttle, how to use the throttle and, and gear. Get the clutch in, not going nowhere. And I also showed you in neutral, you don't have to hold the clutch in, you can release it. Still got the throttle and the bike is back on not gonna go nowhere. Okay? Now here's the fun part. We want to get you guys moving. Okay? So here's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna take our times with this. Alright? Here's the motion. When your clutch is in. When your clutch is in, your throttle. Your hand's going to be doing two different things. You got to get used to that. So your clutch is in, okay? Your throttle hand, like I said, shouldn't be, remember back here, we shouldn't, it shouldn't be back here. Your throttle hand should be back here, but for demonstrations, your throttle hand should go back as you're slowly releasing the clutch. You're going off the throttle, you're pulling in the clutch, stop and slow down. Giving it some power, throttle, releasing the clutch. You get it? You get it? Boom. That's the movement. You're going to have to get used, you know, to um to doing that. Um, that's that's very 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 important because your body is going to be doing different things in order to control you know control your motorcycle. Okay. So we're gonna start adding some power um, to the bike, but I wanna show you something really, really interesting, all right? Let's get the bike going. We're not gonna do the kickstand, all of that is already you know, done or whatever the case is. So gonna turn our bike on. Should put the windshield down. All right, so we're gonna get going a little bit. Bike is in neutral. Gonna hold in that clutch. Get the bike going, get the bike clutching, even though it's neutral. I'm gonna go down into first gear, okay? Remember we duck walk the bike, right? And now I want you to duck walk 
You get a duck walk by just releasing the clutch. Put your hand here, you can put your hand here, put your hand here, or whatever it is, but I don't want you touching the throttle. I'm gonna put my hand here, and I'm gonna start releasing the clutch slightly. I want you to get to, if you feel like your bike is taking off too fast, I want you to pull the clutch back in. Okay, so we're gonna duck walk. We're gonna duck walk. Whenever you feel like you're getting scared, pull that clutch back in. You see how I just stopped? All right, what are you doing? Duck walking the bike, you can see my feet, I'm duck walking. Now I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna pull the clutch in. Okay, I'm gonna release the clutch. Ready to get some power, duck walking. Stop. Okay, I'm gonna duck walk. Stop. So that's what it feels like when your bike is starting to pick up in speed. So literally, you can move the bike without even giving it, you know, power, you know, for the most for the most part. When you're starting off slow. Now we're going to actually start off and watch this. I'm going to give the bike, you know, some power. I'm going to place my hand on the throttle. Okay. Once your bike starts to move, you want to pick up both your feet. Put your feet on the on the foot pegs. Okay? Do not give it any If you feel scared, like you're gonna drop your bike, pull in the clutch, take your feet, squeeze the rear brake, slowly squeeze the front brake. Okay? Front brake is a slow is a slow squeeze. But you never wanna hardly ever wanna use your front brake when you're moving super super slow. Okay? Because your wheel is going to go down into the ground, your forks go down, and if you pull this in too hard, your wheel can go left or right, and you can potentially drop your bike. So we're going to control everything right now, just with our clutch and just a little bit, a little bit of rear brake. But remember, you don't put your arms, your palms all the way up here. You put your palms down here so you don't rev the throttle. I want you to grab the throttle. Feels like it is together. But I don't want you revving it. Put your palm here. Remember I said reverse supination. Put your palm here. And just keep it on there. And push it in slightly. But don't move the ball. So now I'm going to release the throttle. I'm releasing. My right leg is up. My right leg is on. My right foot is on the pedal. Okay. And I'm doing the same thing I did before. I'm not touching the throttle, throttle touching, but I'm not rubbing. My right foot is on is on the um the uh, pedal. Slowly release the clutch. You duck walking, half a duck. Control it, control it, control it, and just stop. Pull it in. Okay. You release it. Pull it in. You release it. Do the power, pull it in. You see, I'm not even revving anything. Okay? You got one foot up. Congratulations. You got one foot up off the ground. Now we're going to get the other foot up. As we slowly release the clutch, the bike is going to move. Okay? We're going to slowly release the clutch. I'm not going to give no throttle. The bike is going. Bike is going. Bike is going. I'm not revving the throttle. You see my hand. Turning. You see my hand. I'm not giving him no throttle. You remember what I said before. Look at my hand. The bike is going, and I'm not giving it no power. This is how much power the bike is going to give when you're not revving the throttle at all. You see my hands? I'm not doing anything. Look at my hands. 
I'm not doing anything. Look at my hand. So you know, and you look at my miles per hour, you know at five miles per hour, your bike is not going to fall off. Your bike is not going to fall because you're giving power to the rear wheel because the, the clutch is not pulled in. Okay? Now, at five miles an hour, I have to steer my bike. And what a steer means, I'll show you that in a second. But if you look, look at my hands, I am not revving the throttle. I am not touching the, the clutch. I'm doing U-turns. No problem, the bike is still going. Both of my feet are up on the pegs. So you're not going to drop your bike as long as there's power going to the rear wheel. Okay, as long as you got this power, and this is five miles an hour. This is five miles an hour, six, five miles an hour. Okay, you are not going to drop your bike if you're going this slow. Keep your foot up. You don't pull in the clutch. If I pull this clutch in right now while I'm going slow, the bike is going to want to stop. You're going to get scared and you're going to drop the bike. Okay? See my hands? There you go. Now, I'm going to pull in the clutch. Watch what happens. Bike slows down. So I take and I do the brakes. I actually stop with the uh, clutch, put the front brake a little bit just to completely slow me down. So this is what, this is what we're going to do right now. All right, we're going to go on to the next step. All right, we're going to go all the way down to the end and come all the way back. All right, so we're going to give the bike a little bit of power now. Okay, so we're going to release the clutch. Okay. As we're releasing the clutch to go a little bit faster, we want to give just a little bit of throttle. Your hand's not all the way up here. Your hand is down here. And you're kind of turning. You're turning with the web of your hand right here. You're not using your whole hand to turn. I'm kind of gripping. You know, I'm going to grip. Get my hand in a supinated position so I can't, you know, take off. Put it down as I release the clutch. Okay, I'm not giving, the, I'm not giving no, uh, no power. Going at five miles an hour, I can release the clutch now because the bike is moving. And I want to start slowly, slowly, slowly. You barely even see my hand moving. And I'm already at 10 miles an hour. Okay? Look at my right hand. Look at my right hand. Brake just to touch just a little bit. I want to do a U turn. Rear brake. I'm not stabbing the rear brake. I'm slightly pushing on it. Okay. I'm going to go again. Okay, my hand is off the clutch. I'm still doing seven, eight. Okay. I'm revving the throttle with the web of my hand right here. My pink is the grip. Not the whole hand. It's my pink. Literally. Holding and getting more throttle. As my wrist comes down, back down, and then a little bit more. Okay. So release the throttle. Go take forward, like I said in the video. Release the power. With the clutch, grab the clutch in. Right in the friction zone. The friction zone, you want to do a U turn. Slow little U turn. And if you can do that slow little U turn, you can do what other people can't do because the hardest thing to do is slow speed the move. Okay, all right, let's go. I'll release the clutch. I'm not even touching the clutch now. So 
I'm going to do the throttle. The wheel you can see my hands moving. Just the web of my hands controlling the seat. What you don't want to do, you don't want to go fast and then chop the throttle like that. You want to go slow. That's where you're using the web, you know, the web of your hand is. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you that. So basically what, you, what you're doing, you know, what you're doing right here is you're taking, you're taking your, you see the web, the web of my hand right here. <clears throat> the web of my hand, this part right here, this little web right here, this is what I'm using to control the throttle. A lot of people think once people start controlling the throttle, the all it is right here, that's when you get into trouble and you start getting into all the extra speed. So while I'm while I'm riding, riding slow like this, my hand is really the throttle is being controlled with this web. And my pinky back here for me, while my palm is resting, my pinky acts as a stabilizer. You know, right here, my pinky acts as a stabilizer. I'm holding it, literally holding it like this. But while I'm riding, I'm riding, <laughs> you know, like this. So as I go forward or backwards on the throttle, I don't have a full chunk. I just have just the web of my hand, and that's how I'm controlling the throttle. You grab a full hand from the throttle like this and you start doing this and chopping off and on, you're going to have problems in the ride. So everything with the bike is slow and smooth, okay? Everything with the bike, you go fast, but your movements are slow and smooth. Let's go. Back in first gear, slowly releasing the clutch in the throttle and I'm gonna exaggerate you see I just got my thumb <laughs> literally my thumb here and I got my fingers on the front brake just in case okay so as the button is in the throttle you don't want to do that you're gonna release release and give it throttle now at the same time that's how you get the speed release and give it throttle at the same time so as you release, you feel the bike pulling. You feel the bike pulling. Now you want to give it throttle. Now you're going to give it. Keep. 